Where'd you find them? On the internet? Yeah. You looked them up on the internet. That's cool. That's back in the nuts. Look how skinny I was there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's been a few years ago. I, I can, I actually have dimples and like you can see my cheekbones. <laughs> I don't look like a chipmunk. I'm gonna give you this hat too, buddy. There you go. See there, he had some good ones too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You're welcome. It, yes, oh, sir. You made, you made this guy's day. Yeah. Awesome. Good to meet you. Yeah, you too, guys. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. You're very welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Appreciate we'll it. We'll see y'all the way. See, you. Brad. Yeah. Okay. Hey, good luck. Yeah. Come cheer Thank me you. on. I'm gonna That's need. That's right. <laughs> so that boy did not know that he was coming here till they pulled up here and seen your no. truck. He had no idea. Yeah, he was freaking out. Yeah. Brad. Brad. His. Daughter and my daughter and all them go to school together. They're all yeah, yeah. I gotta put that thing up somewhere nice. Yeah, four hundred dollars. I yeah. would. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy me one. That Great. one there's the Lake Fork special color, isn't it? That's what uh, Lee was throwing that. That color? I think so. I thought well, somebody was throwing one that was green up here, and it looked Might cool. Have been. Yeah. I think you. I think that was part of his part of his deal. Where he caught them fish? Off that island back yeah. here, this and then he tried it every day of practice. He said or something. I, know, I saw him there. One day I saw him. But that's this. This is the first time I've been there, three times now, and that's the first time that I didn't fish that place. Well, we are, we are almost switched over. We had to take all of Lake Fork out, all of it, including the 316 glide bait, and repack for. Uh, Neely Henry, which is where we are now in Alabama. That was not easy. A, if I throw this here, you're going to scare them all away. That's a 316 glide bait. That will scare them. So it's going to be a shad spawn this week. It's going to be some top waters. It's going to be a, it's going to be a little bit of everything. Kind of a, it might even turn into a, a, a true junk fishing tournament because we have some weather coming in. Oh, yes, weather. Like four, I mean, I don't... I've known Canterbury for a long time, and I'm starting to realize he's a pessimist. He's a pessimist because he told me yesterday, it's five, six inches of rain. There are going to be flood warnings, and gates are open, and the lake's going to fall apart. Like, like it was like the end of the world. And I, you did. You said it was like 10 inches of rain. It was like they're shutting the whole town down. Everybody, It's, it's terrible. But it, just keep cooking. Mind your own business. But that being said, it is going to be difficult because it's, it's got a crazy little deal. So I've, I've rigged up. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have, I have a pile of rods. I've spent all day out here today rigging these rods up. Everything from top waters to swim baits, small swim baits, of course, flipping bandito bugs, swimming jigs. The only good thing about this tournament here is that I was just here for the bass opens. So I know the lake at least as far as how it looks, you know, how it lays out, where grass may or may not be, where certain points and ridges and roadbeds and all that kind of stuff. So I, I feel like I have a little knowledge of the lake, which is good. Not knowledge of where the fish are, but it's just kind of like knowledge, like I, I can visualize the lake. So that, that's good in a, in a way because it allowed me to kind of at least, I think, fish it a little faster than someone that hasn't ever been here. Though They don't know what's around the next corner. At least I do. So Aries on his way. Did you really move his boat and scratch it? That's what we told him. Huh? We told Ari that we moved his boat, and McCoy moved the boat and scratched it. And he said, <laughs> he said, he said things that he said things so bad that we had him on speakerphone when all the people were here, and we had to quickly abort the phone call. <laughs> it was an abort. He went crazy, dude. So we need to put some stuff on his on his fender. We need to find some like paint that rubs off or something. And rub it all over some stuff like it all busted all pieces we're trying to see if we can make it look real bad and then his first reaction is just gonna sock you right in the face that'll be really why funny. me why is it always me <laughs> because it's, it's funnier that way we might put some water on it and get it make it like a plaster yeah yeah it's gonna need like some water on it or something that don't look good oh, oh. It's so weird looking, the way it beads up like that. I'm literally like rolling around the water. 
It's just the service tensions keeping it all together. We're funny. I think flour would definitely work better. This like doesn't mix at all. It's very hydrophobic. That doesn't look half bad. I mean, it doesn't look good. It kind of just looks like grits. <laughs> Looks not half bad. I think it'll definitely get an initial reaction out of them. Don't you think? Might get that. It might get him to sucker punch you real quick before he realizes it's baby powder. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit of everything because I lived here my whole life, but I never really fish Neely Henry this time of year uh, in the spring. Logan Martin, Lay Lake, I fish those a lot more, but you know, it's all matter of just, I mean, I know the lake, I know how they set up, I know how it fishes, I know how it should be fishing, but forecast has got like two to five inches of rain coming in, and it's really going to mess with some people's areas, it's going to muddy a lot of stuff up if it, if it rains really hard. I'm hoping that it sort of just misses us and we have a regular tournament that not huge changes in. I mean, it's it's a good fishery. Uh, Neely Henry is one of the best on the Coosa, so I've got everything rigged up from swim jigs to buzz baits to frogs to flipping boat docks. Uh, hopefully, you can cover all the bases in three days of practice and try to figure out the winning pattern. Two things that I'm gonna try this week, the Guggen Squad Revolver. It's like a whopper plopper style bait, but really pretty cool. They've, they've got the thing that revolves in the middle instead of at the very tail end. So I think I think that's gonna work well. I've thrown it a little bit. Um, I haven't been around the right situation yet to see how good this thing really is. As far as it running and the way it sounds, amazing. So I'm gonna try this a lot tomorrow. That's gonna be a big deal. Um, the other thing that's gonna be a huge deal, let me show you this. This is going to be a huge deal. This might be the thing that I'll probably throw the most of. That right there. That right there. Guggen Squad Swim Jig. You know, Ketchco is the company that produces these baits, which they do a fantastic... I'm really impressed with Ketchco, all the stuff that they've done, the collaborations they've done. It's been really, really good stuff. Like, honestly, guys, I mean, that's a good hook. It's a good weed guard, the hand-tied skirt. All, all the lures, whether it's a crankbait or the revolver or whatever, all the Ketchco products, I mean, like, seriously, like, good stuff. They're not just thrown together. These are well thought out. A lot of input from, from the guys at the Guggen Squad, obviously, and, and myself, too. I've, I've helped them on a few little things. So that right there could be a big player. I'm going to put on a, a little... Uh, Guggen Bates trailer on the back of that. And that's going to be a big deal. White, you know, because it's 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 the time of the year there's a shad spawn going on and that could be a big deal. Now, you do not want to forget about a little green pumpkin, something like that. Obviously match it up a little green pumpkin trailer because it's kind of an interesting time of the year for this tournament because you still have a few fish spawning and there's a shad spawn going on. So the shad are spawning so a lot of the post-spawn fish are feeding on the shad in the mornings for an hour or two. You have still some bass on beds, largemouth. The spots are done spawning, so the spots are offshore now, and they're kind of doing their thing, and that's a whole other approach. Um, so, again, this tournament here is it's, it's a little more complicated than the average tournament just because you have multiple species. You have rain coming in, weather, fish down the lake on the big end of the lake, or run way up the river. Eh. I don't really know what to expect, but that's one reason I literally have 20, 20 rods rigged up right now, 20. All right, so I wanna say one huge thing to you guys, everybody watching, thank you so much. Like, honestly, thank you so much for all the support you guys have been giving me on my channel uh, with the tournament videos and all of our content. You guys have been smashing the like button. Um, I, I don't know how to repay you other than say, like, honestly, thank you so much. It has made a huge difference for our channel. It's made a huge difference with our views. You guys are dropping great comments. We're trying to respond to every single one of you guys. And uh, thank you. I mean, I'm spending hours and hours reading the comments and and just just truly appreciate all the support you guys have been doing. You know, the channel's growing and just keep doing that, guys. We want to try to, we're closing in on 600,000 subscribers. And um, 
I want to be at a million, like really quick. So that's a, that's a long ways to go. And the only way we can get there is by continued support from you guys, dropping comments, sharing the video out on different platforms and all that good stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the support you guys have been giving me on the channel. All right. Now these little things right here, this one right here might be the deal. I gotta get this. I'm, I'm a little disorganized, but because there's a couple of my boxes, like this is all jerk baits, obviously. And this is all crankbaits and all that. This is kind of a catch-all. And in this box here, we have everything from square bills to buzz baits to there's a frog in here, actually. So there's everything in here. Literally. I have to kind of dig through. Because what I'll do is I'll take the the Yeah, ask yourself, like, why did it take all day? Because I had Lake Fork stuff in here and and we just I don't like to have my boat totally full of everything. Um, it doesn't run that good. I mean, boats in general don't run that well when they're really, really full of tackle. But, you know, it's a little confusing, too. I like to know where everything is and, um, and keep everything well organized. And I'll move everything from, from my boat to the deck system like we do here and then close it in. And got this other drawer full of stuff. And we have had a packed truck this year. I do want to show you this thing here. Kind of cool. First time I've had one of these. Look at this, guys. The Lear Locker. Okay. It's actually... Uh, I'm scared to look up there to see what's in this. But Oh, there's my spinnerbait box. I've been looking for that. Actually, this is... Oh, that... Alright, we found one. I literally have been digging for this. This is all my little swim baits. Saucy swimmers. Literally just looking for that through every box that we had but this is cool this little system right here um we keep a lot of stuff up there there's my spare baits which i've got a bunch of them but already we're good on that but that's kind of cool we can put a lot of our camera gear up here and tripods and stuff so that little ear locker is nice and it slides up and that's how i've got the back of my truck organized this year we've got the traeger in there which we need to get out and what the, the cool thing about this deck system is one it's lightweight two completely waterproof not that water would get in there anyways but if i did want to spray it out you know because it gets dust and dirt and stuff i want to take a water hose and spray in here it's fine it's not going to hurt anything and um and you can put all the weight on top of this thing so there's not any flex on the on that lid two thousand pounds on top of this deck system so um i've had deck systems in all my trucks for the last five or six years and it's been it's been good so I'm doing a little cooking tonight i'm just gonna cut up some french fries keep them iced down really cold sort of take the starch out of them and it keeps them from browning. So we're gonna have us a fish fry. Got a bunch of big potatoes here. I'm gonna cut up and make some French fries. It's gonna be really good. Probably build us a fire out here. Got us some chicken thighs going. If we don't eat them tonight, they'll be good in the boat for snacks. I'll get some more of that white. Here comes that rain. I think it's pretty obvious that that's. I mean, what's your first like? Just just look at it for a minute. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> He's gonna be tripping out, dude. <laughs> I told him I said McCoy accidentally Did hit that the look real? Yeah. Oh, dude. Does it look like his wraps all cracked? Oh, dude. Dude, he's gonna trip out. Yeah, dude. It looks like it's all cracked. Look at that. I took electrical tape and tore it all to pieces. And stuck it on there. Get real close and look at it. <laughs> That's crazy. He's gonna be tripping. <laughs> <laughs> just tell it'll buff out. It'll buff out. <laughs> you just wipe it's it all off. Right, <laughs> yeah. I figured. I figured you're gonna open a garage. Just gonna put your boat in there. Well, we 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 put yours back in there. Y'all do something to it? No. I mean, well, we did have a fish. McCoy had an issue, but dude, I'll—I mean, I'll get turn the camera off, dude. That's that's fake as hell. It better be fake. That's fake. That's that's like makeup, isn't it? That's so. That's a terrible job. Y'all would never make it in Hollywood. What's better, the white or the black? Look at the red. First of all, why not just put my fingers in? Well, you should have asked. <laughs> Let's move my fingers. <laughs> what What about the wrap part that's all torn? It's electrical tape. But that's pretty good though, isn't it? That's actually pretty good. 
The white thing. It's not bad. I yeah. think it was without the white would have been better. Okay. I'm going to leave it on there this week. Maybe it's good luck. <laughs> I'm going to see how many people walk up and be like, dude, what happened to your fender? <laughs> like, McCoy happened to my fender. Did you notice how McCoy's not here? Because he's so scared you're going to beat him. Oh, where's he at? Oh, there he is. <laughs> dude, what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> he's already across the driveway. <laughs> Ooh, a little hidden camera. Y'all did good. How long did y'all work on that? Well, all day. Way too long. All day. We've been out here for hours, dude. <laughs> Hours for like, y'all like listen. Six seconds the bad motion. part about this is y'all play so many pranks. I told I, I I was on the phone with Emily when you called. I said, let me call you right back because this is going to be interesting. Because I'm already thinking all the way down here. I said I haven't been here and y'all been here for 24 hours. Y'all cannot not do something. So the bad part is when you was it Canterbury that told me? Yeah. Canterbury yeah. told me. Like, yeah, McCoy, they had an accident with you. But I'm like, dude, I, like, I know this is not real. Like, I, I already, this is so bad. Y'all prank so much, and you prank too often. You're, I'm going to have to teach y'all how to prank. All right, you go back to the, the, the member of the show, Punk, with Ashley yeah. Kutcher. Yeah. Go back and watch some of that stuff. He can yeah. teach y'all something. That's pretty good, Punk. Y'all ready, Nate? Oh, yeah. About ready. You got all the problems. You ready? Some hush puppies. Got some crappy. Chicken thighs. And french fries. And these things hard. Ridiculous. I'd say they're pretty good, right, Dylan? <laughs> You're like digging in. Mm -hmm. He can't even talk. I'm about to not talk for I a while. I will say, Canterbury knows how to cook. Because he's cooked for us a few times since we've been here, McCoy and I. Pretty dang good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing goes better in the style. Red diamond. Red diamond. Sweet tea. Fried crocker. French fries, hush puppies, chicken thighs, Dixie Mason slaw. It's so good. Like, I haven't, I haven't had crappie in so long. You see the bird? I really haven't. But a good, good old piece of fried fish like that. And this is actually, this right here. You know, you know who's responsible for this? Here, take a look at this. Crappy time. Crappy you time. You like one of them air crawls? Yeah, how do you do it? Do it for me. <laughs> Crappy time. You want your rod, this part of the rod level. There you go. Uh, bend down a little bit. There you go. Now do it. Oh, Yeah, if you point it there, it's going there. Yeah, I saw it. I just totally messed it up. That's a begging. Yeah, this is a good spot, bro. <laughs> Man, these ones got arch. Mm, whacked it. Here you go, thump. You going in the frying pan. <sighs> oh, wow. Yours gonna be, yeah, yours will measure. Yeah, he's a big one. That one don't. How many do we need? 12. 11? <laughs> no. Oh, no. All right, so this week, guys, we are literally staying at Scott's house here in uh, Odinsville, I believe. So he's been very gracious to open up his house to all of us. So we've kind of, <laughs> he probably won't do it ever again. <laughs> But look here, we've got our little editing suite in here. This is where the boys got all their stuff set up. They got all their monitors, they're hardcore working right there, getting some pretty cool stuff edited together. Look at this thing, I didn't even see this. Pretty cool, dude. Look at that thing, that European mount. Very cool. Check out these trophies. Look at this. 2019 Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. He won that obviously 2019, so that was really cool. And he's yeah. got FLW trophies up here. Yeah, ever start like some championship trophies up there. And this one, which is actually really cool, see that one up top? That's our gold medal that him and I won at Lake uh, El Cachillo in Mexico. Yeah. And him and I won gold medal individual, and we also won gold medal for the whole team, which was awesome. Matter of fact, here's a, here's a photo from it. Pretty cool. We have myself, David Fritz. David Dudley, Terry Bolton, a whole bunch of guys. It was awesome. It was a, such a fun trip. 
That's where I caught that 11, no, 12, 2, 12, 2 right there on a crankbait. And I watched it on Panoptics, which is ridiculous. So pretty cool. That's uh, now I want to show you the coolest man cave ever. This is where he keeps his boat. Let's go downstairs and check out what's going on. I think Matt's down there even rigging up tackle. All right, so this is pretty cool. He's got, look at this. He's got all of his Bass Times front page articles. That's what we want angle of the year. Angle of the year. Well, he's got a lot of angle of the year. So oh, the whole thing is the angle of the year hallway right here. This is cool though. I wish I had this. Well, the problem with Florida is you don't have basements in Florida. Look at this. Now this is the setup. Man, Scott guy. Canterbury's setup is pretty dang awesome. Got your extension cords, got your whole wall to tackle over there. Look at all this. Look at all this. Wall of net. I said, hey man, you got a swim jig I can borrow? He said, man, I only, I only got a couple. I only got a couple. I said, rip. I said, what's all this? He goes, those are mine. That's what he said. I was like, well, he's got a bull shed in here. That's a that's one of them old school bull sheds too. Old oh, crusty one. It's like a dang Bass Pro Shops in here, dude. Now, that, he not only has room for one boat, he has room for two boats. We have Matt Air over here rigging tackle. Now, Matt's here tonight in this spot. Now, starting tomorrow and on, I got that spot. Matt has the outside spot because Matt has a cover. But, uh, <laughs> but for tonight, he's there because Matt got the room upstairs and I got a room. Oh, which, by the way, the, the bed's not even made. The sheets are all messed up. Who slept in that last night? McCoy. McCoy did. I'm liking this, man. This is what I want. This is what I want. I'm going to build a house. I don't know where. Maybe Cloiston. But I want to have... What do you think? Yes. I love this. We built, we built this four years ago or yeah. whatever. And when we picked our house plans, I wanted it where I could back my truck and yeah. boat in and never unhook. Yeah. That was the biggest goal for me. Right. And that, the reason that we moved, I man, we liked where we live. We didn't live 10 minutes from here. Yeah. But we just outgrew boat yeah. storage and stuff. Yeah. I built a, a garage and it just outgrew it. Yeah. Totally get it. We've outgrown our garage, haven't we, McCoy? Yeah. Let's see what Matt's got rigged up. Let's see what. Let's see what's going on here. Dude, you're already done. That's not even right. I'm really close to being done. That's not right, dude. I have like. I still I'm, have. I'm like. I mean, like, I'm. I'm not even kidding. I'm bothered. I'm running out of room in my rod box. Can I use yours, dude? You've got like eight rods in there. Huh? Well, they can't touch. Maybe tw you got ten rods in there. You can't have them overlap, right? You like a thrift? You kind of like thrift? Is that a North Carolina there's thing? There's 14 in there. There's 14. I got 15, 37 in 15 mind, in there, and there's, 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 there'll be 17 in there to get started practice with. That ain't enough. What you got in there? Let me see that box. Just junk. Nothing that you would want to look at. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it's just junk. It really is junk. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember that little dude? Oh, no, that was good. Remember, remember that little yeah. dude? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get a thank you. Get I'm like, hey, dude, I got this, I got this top water for you back. Don't worry about it. No, this was at Lake Murray. Forcewood Cup. He had forward-facing sonar. That's all he needed. I didn't have it yet. He has no room to talk. He yeah, didn't, he good. didn't, he didn't offer, he, he should have said, hey, I'm, Matt. How many times did I say there's hey. fish under your boat, Matt? Uh, oh, hang on, I'll catch him. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me drop my, let me drop my flute down. No, I literally went like this. At Lanier, it got so bad that we Lanier stopped talking. Bad, we stopped like, talking. At like, we had to stop talking because it was. He would pull up at me, and he'd, I'd be fishing, and he'd pull up at me like, "Hey man, you catching them?" I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm catching them, all right." And he'd say, "Man, you know, whatever, you know." And I'd say, "Dude, there's like three or four of them under your boat." And he'd say, "Shut up!" I go, "I'm serious." And I'd throw my jerk bait like past his motor. You need, oh, there he is, four pounds. Did you say you needed a P70 this week? Yes, thank you. you thank you. you thank can you. Have See that. how that works? You can have that one. Thank you. You matter of fact, you can just keep that one. Thank you. See, Dude, that's, that's a pretty one there, too. Oh, if you want. It's the mid size one. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, it's Matt's. I stole I it a while see, ago. I didn't see Taylor over there. Sorry, Taylor. <laughs> can I use this one? <laughs> Since he can't fathom what that even means yet, I don't have to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you're going to turn blue like him and pass <laughs> out, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you can use any of these. Thank you. Thank you. You need any Ricos? No, I just want this one. How old is this one? It's like a. It's old. It's a good one, dude. You can have it. You can use it this week. Okay, so this is a Pop R, right? Original P70. Now they've made other P70 
pop bars since then that are similar in size and all that, but it's totally different type of plastic, totally different type of everything. The white it's just difference. yeah, it's just magic. Like 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 you would think that lure, you would think that lures don't make a difference. But like if you got a new version of this one and this one side by side in the water, nine times out of ten fish can eat this one. I don't know what it is. And you know, I think the most important Here. thing with that thing, and back in the day guys like Craig Powers yeah. and stuff that started that East Tennessee, when they started that deal, their biggest thing, they'd use real short rods. Real short like yeah. six footers. Some sort of that one. Six footers. Yeah. yeah, six footers. Six six was about as long as they ever went. And they yeah. could put that thing I'm talking about anywhere. It was like a casting plug. Yes. They put it way ten foot up I on fish, a truck. I mean I fished with some guy East Tennessee. Well Brad that fished with Craig Powers. Yeah. Brad and I. C P and dude he put that I fished Kentucky Lake and he would put it up in a freaking buck brush where you want to flip a jig. Like up in the base of the buck brush and work it all the way out. He won a ever start one time on Bugs Island Lake. Yeah. Y'all remember that tournament? Yeah. Ooh. He yeah. won it on a on a P seventy. Really? And he won it because the lake got up a little bit and he was putting that thing everywhere all them guys locally were flipping and stuff. And he's putting that up in there wow. and everything. Well we're gonna get up in the morning and uh what time we're leaving? I don't know, dude. Need to leave five o'clock at the latest. That means we have to be up at four. Hour to get ready. Four. McCoy, four. Need to pull out at five. I know what I'm saying. We need time. We got, we got to find Shad spawn first thing in the morning. I mean, if you want to put in and fish, if you want to put in and fish like shoal and lake shore and stuff, you need to put in down there at that, where I put in crappie fishing. All right, guys. So that is it. We did a little house tour, a little mini house tour. Look, it's Scott's house. We don't want to go bust in every bedroom and show you everything. But the garage, I think it's pretty cool. So I've got goals now. I want to have a garage like old Canterbury. But, guys, we're going to get up in the morning. We're going to go give it all we got or okay three days of hard practice we've got some crazy weather coming in like i said but you know what it's the springtime we're gonna figure it out it's gonna take three days to do it i'm sure but thank you so much for all the all the, all the views guys thank you so much for smashing 10,000 likes on that last video you guys are truly amazing on that tournament video awesome stuff guys and i appreciate all the support we'll see you and uh, we're gonna get up in the morning we're gonna start this whole process over again so Day one of practice, we'll start in the morning. That'll be a whole other video. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you. Bye.